Hello everyone. So today we are going to create uh, something like this. You must have seen creativity with the text in Adobe XD or Sketch or with other tools, but not in Figma. Today we are going to do some creativity in the Figma using text. So let's start. I will create a new page here. So first of all, what to, we will do is type the letter. So I'm going to type future. Press T. I will increase the font size. Okay. So um, I'm going to write the future. So let's make it bold. Okay. We will not uh, type it uh, in one word. We will type each letter separately. Like uh, this is F. So I will duplicate it. Now I will duplicate it multiple times. And uh, now edit this F U. Okay. Uh, I will write this uh, in a small letter U. And this is T, so it will be in capital letter. Again, U in small letter. And this is R in small letter. And this is E in cap small letter. Yeah, it's perfect now. I will arrange it. Now let's start the work. What do we need to do? Uh, we need each letter here in SVG format. These are the layers. What uh, if I want to edit this? We uh, cannot do anything like this. So what we will do? Right click on it. Copy as SVG. Okay. And now I have to. Uh, paste here so i will i'm showing it at a different place here paste here you can see this is a vector now here uh, we can make uh, any changes in this like yes you can see so what uh, we are going to do uh, we will place it here in place of this initial f so i will move here and uh, place it okay so what we need to do is uh, i will hit enter and these are the pointers select uh, this and again press uh, this one while holding shift so it will select both pointers and now drag the pointers below it is uh, not uh, visible here because the frame is uh, clipped if you select this frame and uh, see here this is clip content uh, we will unclip it yes you can see we drag the F letter and it is visible now let's do the work on U later first of all what we will do is right click on it copy as svg we need this as a vector so what uh, i will do is i will replace it so i will shift command and r yes you can see this is the vector form now and we will move it to below the f letter We, may, we will make a little distance yes it is fine now you can see here okay to match the height we will drag the letter f a little bit more 
select these two pointers while holding shift and drag it below i think it is fine now okay we will see that later if it is not matching the height hit enter now hit uh, select a u letter and hit enter select these two pointers and drag it above it is not visible because the frame has a clip content property i will unclip it okay it is visible now so uh, let's make it a little down because we are going to place t here now uh, need to work on t letter right click on it copy as svg and command shift and r drag it near you hit enter one more time and select these two pointers while holding shift drag it below hit enter select the frame unclip it okay now again i will right click on it copy as svg command shift r drag it here and to hit enter select the frame and unclip it uh, you can see the u frame has uh, entered inside this tree frame so we will keep it outside yes so make it little in okay again we will enter and select these two pointers drag it upward hit enter now it's time to work on r letter right click on it copy as svg now i will do command shift r is vector now so drag it here i will hit enter drag it below select the frame r and unclip do the same with e letter Now I want this E letter to be inside this R, so it uh, should look like uh, it is inside the R letter. So we will increase this portion of R a little bit in outward direction. So what we will do? Hit enter and. Uh, select these two pointers and drag it uh, up drag it outside okay now need to do some editing in this r letter
do this is fine from inside let's work in this direction so what I will do is select this pointer and while holding shift I will delete it and while holding shift I will delete this pointer and while holding shift I will delete this pointer I will increase the height of the uh, elevator a little bit. Yes. I think it's fine now. Let's match the height of the select these two pointers and move upward. A little bit, yes. Again, move later a little bit. And again, a little, a little bit up. Yes, this is done now and it is looking really amazing. Let's select all and make it a frame. So yes, that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please hit the like button, share and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.